It's one of those nights where it's just conflicting emotions. I mean, uh, people over there celebratory, and rightly so, celebrating their Grammy nominations over at the Wilshire Ebell, and, and yet uh, so many of us are dealing with this still just devastating news of the loss of the great Whitney Houston, who uh, died this evening at the age of 48. And I'll tell you what, Twitter is un not surprisingly just absolutely blowing up. Uh, I can just share with you a few, a few more that I just came across, uh, reactions I just came across about this horrible news. Skrillex, who's a, of course nominated, multiple nominee this year at the Grammys, including Best New Artist, says, Young Guns, go listen to Whitney Houston if you haven't given her a proper listen and you'll understand why she changed the world. Mariah, the great Mariah Carey, who had, of course, tweeted earlier about, very soon after the news broke, in fact, tweets again, she will never be forgotten as one of the greatest voices to ever grace the earth. Shaka Khan, of course, uh, I'm Every Woman, Whitney, uh, brilliantly covered Shaka's I'm, uh, I'm Every Woman. I'm speechless, I'm in shock right now. Pray for Whitney and the family. Paul Abdul, I'm devastated, just devastated at the news about Whitney Houston, such a tragic loss. Nicki Minaj, another Best New Artist nominee this year. Jesus Christ, not Whitney Houston, greatest of all time. Obviously, it's a topic that's going to be on uh, people's minds and lips for the rest of the weekend here at the Grammy Awards. Uh, we will keep you posted on uh, the pre-Grammy gala tonight. Of course, the party annually hosted by Whitney's greatest champion, mentor, the man who discovered her, Clive Davis. We'll keep you posted on the status of that party and, uh, and how it will be affected. And of course, we'll see uh, how the Grammys themselves, the uh, 54th Grammy Awards tomorrow, choose to recognize the loss, the tragic loss of this great woman.